by the end of this video, you're going to have the knowledge and ability to make a Hollywood standard visual effect completely free. And how do I know how to do this? Because I am a Jedi. Now it's because I've been doing this, this effect for years. Most recently in my Lego Star Wars Darth Maul vs. Obi-Wan Kenobi, which you can find a link to that in there. Watch it after this video though. Let's get into it. So I've been reading the comments. Some people think I go a little bit too quick with my uh, my tutorial, so I'm gonna do it with you this time. Hopefully it'll be easier for you to follow along. So I'm inside of HitFilm Express. It's free, it's uh, it's really powerful software. Not, in my experience, not that many people know about it. But yeah, there'll be a link in the description of where you can go and download it. So I've got the footage here selected that I want to use to do the lightsaber effects on. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add a new layer, a new plane. A white one, I'm just gonna call it blue lightsaber so it's, it's gonna be massive we're gonna take it the whole timeline I'm gonna trim it to where the lightsaber starts and finishes uh, and set the visibility to false turn it off and then grabbing the pen tool I'm gonna to come in close to the lightsaber blade and with the mask and I'm gonna mask out the blade I do about six mask points um, every time it, it that just works for me and once you've got your first mask done what you're going to do is you're going to go into mask the properties, transform, and select the keyframe for mask path. Don't forget to select the keyframe at the start. That'll be that'll be disastrous. If you do all this and then look back and forget you've started to keyframe, oh, I'll tell you what, mate. I've been there. Is my hair still looking alright, Joe? Yeah. My hair's still fine? Yeah. yeah. Oh. And then you're going to move forward on frame. To toggle between frames, it's these buttons here. I always find it easier to turn the, the visibility off. And then move the position to of of the plane to follow the lightsaber blade. You know, it's it's like drawing the blade on for every single frame. It's really uh really tedious. Between frames, there's quite a big swing in motion, and the lightsaber doesn't just it it has a bit of a drag to it. I stretch the plane out, so it has it it simulates motion blur basically. Make sure you have the uh, curve. I'll show you one more time. I'm gonna skip forwards one frame. Draw the lightsaber blade on. Easy like that. Don't forget to compensate for the motion blur. Have a bit of a time lapse. It'd be quicker if we did the pots together. No, I will not. So as you can see, at the minute, the white plane follows the lightsaber blade, but it doesn't look like a lightsaber. It's called a lightsaber, but it doesn't look like a lightsaber. So what I do now is I go into the mask, into the shape settings, and I set the roundness to about a six. What that does is that shrinks it a little bit. It makes it nice and curved, but it shrinks it. So then I set the expansion to about a three, just to bring it out a little bit more. And then I set the feather to about a two or a three. I'm gonna put three. Um, and there you go. Now it now it looks a lot softer. What I do now is I go into effects, click the plus icon, generate, light sword, glow only, layer only, that one there. And it has that, uh, it adds a glow. That looks a bit like a lightsaber. It, it looks like it's just been painted on. It doesn't look like it's actually in the scene. So what I do is, this is the key. This is this is the, uh, the very important piece of information. What you do is you right click, go and blend, and from normal, you click add. And right there and then you can see the glow, just it trans, trans, transforms it straight away. Now you go into inner, inner glow settings and outer glow settings. I like to set the inner glow to a light blue like that. I reduce the width, how do you say width? Reduce the width of cameraman Joe behind the lens today. But he's complaining, like he doesn't get paid enough. Shut up! The alpha is just the brightness. I lower that to about, uh, about 40, 50, to whatever looks good for you. Everybody has different preferences. And the outer glow, I raise that and raise the width out quite big. 
it's that so it has a glow to it and if you watch that you see it looks looks like a nice lightsaber go and into lights and flares and add a glow and reduce the radius I'll reduce the intensity a little bit but it, when you reduce the radius all it does is it gives the um, the white core a nice little uh, nice little edge nice little uh, extra glow and I do the exact same thing for the red lightsaber Mum never told you what happened to your Roblox girlfriend. She told me enough. She told me you killed her. No. I am your Roblox girlfriend. That can't be. That's impossible. No. All I do for the uh, the red lightsaber is it's pretty much the same settings. However, the inner glow and the outer glow are the same color. It's just that red, that red uh, color there that I like to use, the pure red. Because a lighter red on the inner glow, I, I just don't think it has that same punch. Yeah, they're fighting. Yeah, they're clashing and that. But where's the flare? If you watch the, uh, the Star Wars films, when the fight, when the light swords clash, there's a bang, there's a pop, there's a light flare. Add new layer, grade. I'm gonna scale it to uh, where. I'm gonna scale it to how long the clip is. Effects add lights and flares, light flares. I'm going to go into a uh, flare type. I do light sword clash orange. It's already a light sword clash. Now, what I do is I like to offset the hue shift to dark orange. So about a minus 36, 41, minus 41. Um, and then I get rid of the other elements, which is that circle flare and the ray, the light ray. <coughs> oh, coronavirus. Hit the keyframe on the intensity and then set it to zero. Now go to the frame before the lightsabers clash, right? Hit keyframe on hotspot position. Hotspot position is just the flares movement, which which is keyframe. Make a movement on the intensity, but still set it to zero. So then when you look, there's a keyframe set just before at zero. Then you move to the next frame when they actually are clashing and move it up to oh, 150 or 124. And then Skip forward two frames, set it to zero. Now I might I might move the flare with the lightsaber blade. So then again, skip skip along the timeline up until where they're about the frame before the clash. Move the, the, the hotspot position. And then remember, make a movement on the intensity. If you forget to do the zero key, what's gonna happen is slowly it's gonna grow back over the the course of the action. So that's why you need to remember to set it to zero right before it happens so the flare appears out of out of nowhere rather than slowly getting brighter as the footage plays and remember skip forward two frames and set it to zero i will not there's a link to my instagram where i post updates about future videos i'm most active on there um and also subscribe consider it at least because it's free and if i become a bit weird and start uh, posting mega blocks videos you can always just unsubscribe thank you for watching Good. Is that good? Yeah. Good. All right. We'll leave. If I if I've forgotten anything, well, it's all ten minutes long. Jeez. <laughs>